I am Anil Kumar. In the application of binomial theorem, we'll take a few examples and I hope they will help you to review all the concepts. The question number one here is, in the expansion of x plus 1 to the power of n, the coefficient of x cube is twice the coefficient of x square. Find n. So let us expand this. We have x plus 1 to the power of n. So if we expand, we get ncn x to the power of n plus ncn minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 times 1. Okay. Uh, plus so on. Now, since we are interested in x cube, we can look into the terms with uh, ncr, where r is 3, right? So, that will give us x cube, correct? So, so what we get here is nc3 x cube plus nc2 x square plus nc1 x, right? Uh, plus nc0 which is a constant is it okay so so that is what we are going to get in this particular series now what is given to us is the condition that the coefficient of x cube is twice the coefficient of x square now what is the coefficient of x cube which is nc3 okay so that is twice nc2 that is what we are given as a condition so let's equate so that means we are given that nc3 is equal to twice nc2 so from here we can find what n is so that gives us n factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial equals to twice here we have n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial, right? Now we can simplify this. We can cancel 2 with 2 factorial. We can cancel n factorial and n factorial. And we can simplify the rest. Uh, writing this, we get 1 over n minus 3 factorial. That is 6, right? 3 times 2 and here we get 1 over n minus 2 times we could write this as n minus 3 factorial do you understand so we wrote n minus 2 factorial as n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial so that gives us much simpler equation they cancel off so what we have now is 1 over 6 equals to 1 over n minus 2, right? So what we have now is 1 over 6 equals to 1 over n minus 2. So we can solve for n now. So we can just cross multiply. So we get n minus 2 equals to 6 or n is equals to 6 plus 2, uh, which is 8. So we get n equals to 8. So that is the solution, right? You could actually verify your solution also with calculator so you will notice that uh, if n is 8 then this term will be 8c3 and 8c3 is indeed twice 8c2 right so using calculator you will you can verify this 8c3 is 56 and 56 is 2 times 28 so that is a check for your answer right so i hope that makes sense Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.